Well, a year of fighting has taken a heavy toll on eastern Ukraine, but it's not just the people who have suffered. Animals have been caught in the crossfire as well. CCTV's Kate Parkinson has been at the equestrian center in the rebel stronghold of Donetsk to find out how the people and animals there are coping. Since last summer, Yulia has been in charge of this riding center. The owners have left. Like many others in Donetsk, the fighting became too much for them. At just 25 years old, it's a lot of responsibility to take care of 21 horses, and it's not been easy. It was very difficult. First, to feed the horses because most of the fields have landmines, so it's very hard to get any feed or sawdust for bedding. And initially, the horses were scared of the shelling, but like any living beings, they adapted and got used to it. But if there are shootings nearby, the horses do get nervous. The stable relies on help from volunteers to clean, feed and exercise the horses. These teenagers are all passionate about riding and come down here most days to lend a hand. They tell me they miss their friends, the other riders, trainers and horses who've left Donetsk and they hope that things will start to get better soon. I hope for peace. I really hope for peace, and uh, I want to live in peace in my uh, mother's city. I really hope so, because it's very difficult to live there when uh, you hear just every day and every night, just poof, poof, in every second. It's too difficult. It's too difficult to train, to study, to live, just to sleep. The girls help with the horses, but Yulia says the horses have also helped them. When they are in the stables, they don't think about the war going on outside. But somewhere out there, people are dying and everything is exploding. They come to see their favorite horses, which will always understand and listen to them. The ceasefire between Ukrainian and rebel forces means life is slowly getting back to normal. The people here and the horses certainly hope it stays that way. Kate Parkinson, CCTV Donetsk in eastern Ukraine.